Hello everyone. I am standing here in the middle of uh, this dense forest as you can see. And uh, this is the Tarai forest of India. And uh, the, the Tarai forest is in the foothills of the Himalayas. And we are right now very close to the Indo-Nepal border. We have Nepal approximately less than 5 kilometers away. Now this particular habitat that you can see is uh, a mixed forest right now. But if we go a little bit ahead, we will find Sal, that is Shoria robusta forest, which is quite a common species out here. And this habitat, the Tarai region, is very famous for the charismatic tiger. I'm sure you would all have heard about the tiger. And uh, these kind of habitat, this harbors a good population of tiger. Now coming to what is a habitat, a habitat is basically a surrounding or an area which fulfills the basic requirement of any wild animal. So if we are talking in terms of the tiger, then it will provide the, the cover or shelter where the, anim the animal can hide and the cover means if it is hunting then it would need some kind of cover from where it can approach a prey and, uh, and attack and also uh, you know it will need water so there are a lot of water bodies out here. But this if you are talking in terms of tigers just a forest of this kind will not do it will not survive in this kind of a forest because these kind of forests should also have grasslands why do we need to have grasslands because uh, it will eventually hunt on the herbivores and the herbivore population would require the grassland to be around so therefore uh, a mixture of this kind of dense forest as well as grassland where the herbivores are present is a very essential for the survival of the tiger. Now this habitat would be different from species to species. If we talk in terms of uh, the herbivores, then it would need grassland, grassland because it has grass. Number two is the taller grasses, they would provide a little bit of, of cover in case a uh, carnivore wants to hunt and also a lot of open space in case approached by a carnivore, it can run and uh, save itself. So as you can see, the nature is designed in a way that it is providing opportunity of survival to both the species, the, hunt, the one that is hunting as well as the one that is hunted. Now as you see, uh, you can see a lot of tall trees around and uh, these trees are habitats for a lot of birds. Now again, if you come to birds, different birds have different kind of habitats. So you have the woodland or the forest birds you have birds that are thriving in grassland or the grassland birds and then you have the aquatic birds the ones that you find in wetlands in lakes in ponds this habitat is very important from a conservation point of view if we understand what is the habitat requirement of a particular species in nature i'm talking about uh, the conservation of wildlife in nature in situ conservation i'm talking about say for example uh, in this particular kind of a forest if the number of grassland is less then uh, we would make effort to clear some of the forest and make grassland create uh, grasslands artificially so that like there are herbivores because the moment you have grassland the moment you have grasses then you have the herbivores coming in and we would also like to keep uh, such areas free from grazing by domestic livestock uh, so that there is no uh, transfer of infection and also there is no competition between the wild herbivores as and, and uh, domestic herbivores and uh, in this way we are uh, managing habitat for certain species and uh, this kind of habitat management is very very essential when we are talking about uh, conservation of the endangered species. So I hope I have uh, been able to make myself clear on the habitat and uh, how it is and how uh, it is very important for us from a conservation point of view. Thank you very much.